my Taurus, welcome to your March reading. Thanks for joining me. My name's Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Special welcome to my listeners on my podcast on Amazon, Apple and Spotify. Let's take a look here, Taurus. I'm going to pull up an oracle card firstly and these are general readings. Uh, so let's see what comes out. If, if love comes out, I'll address it. But uh, I'm going more for the general energies of these. So let's see what comes out for you. For my beautiful Taurians, for the month of March, we have devotion. Well, that's a beautiful energy. Devotion could be, of course, about being devoted to another. or But it doesn't have to be. It could be anything that you're particularly devoted to. I'm going to be using a new deck today which I'm really excited about. It's the Tarot of Mystical Moments and I've had the uh, the Oracle of Mystical Moments for a number of years. It's one of my favorites so I'm going to use that in conjunction with the Tarot. So let's get a message for Taurus please for the month of March. Listen, listen, devotion. So it does seem like Okay, I'm getting this as a conversation actually. I feel like this is about li the masculine listening to the feminine with devotion. Uh, that's interesting. It feels to me like there's a, a masculine energy that is very in love with a, a feminine Taurus here. Now it can be vice versa of course and uh, loves to hear them speak. Well isn't that unusual? <laughs> a man who likes to hear a woman speak. Now I'm being silly but uh, that's the energy that I'm getting here guys is that uh, somebody, if you're a female Taurus here it seems like there's uh, someone around you who uh, loves to listen to you. Okay, that's really interesting. Let's see, I'm going to put the tarot down. I've already been meditating on your energy, but let's cut the cards. And we'll get started, Taurus, for the month of March. Wow, really nice energy that I'm feeling. Somebody who likes to listen to you. Beautiful, beautiful wants to hear what you you have to say fabulous Taurus let's see what we've got we've got the seven of cups the six of wands the ten of swords okay two of wands the page of cups the nine of cups four of swords eight of swords the devil and seven of pentacles as the overall energy okay let's have a look here Taurus okay this does feel like a very strong magnetic attraction especially from the masculine towards the feminine because we have here this devil energy I'm not picking anything bad about that guys it just feels like someone who is very enamored is it obsessive maybe a little but if you've if you're the feminine here you've caught someone in your web and uh, this person is securely fastened in that web I mean literally you've got them hooked it's also attached to the page of cups and the seven of cups which is a lot of idealism here uh, romance romantic idealism it's it feels like something very new guys it, it feels like that infatuation energy and here i am thinking oh, this is not about love but in, in this case uh, i feel that yeah uh, this one is about love guys so uh, if you're not interested in love maybe check out one of your other uh, one of your other placements because right in the center with that page of cups I, I do feel that there's a dreamy quality this is, feels like falling in love two people falling in love 
it's beautiful I mean goodness you know it feels restful as well I get um, a feeling of sanctuary yeah and I also get this I feel like um, the two of you here are finding a lot of um, common ground I feel you both are interested in the same things so you may have some kind of common interest it feels like a hobby some of you it's spirituality and this uh, this energy here is of learning the, the reason why I say that is because the overall energy is the seven of Pentacles and uh, the feeling that I'm getting around that is one of progression opening up to each other listening to each other you know I've got this card of listening and seeing where it goes you know progression and it does feel like there is an element of working so for some of you you this is someone that you're starting a business with or you're st or you're talking about starting a business with or some kind of hobby there's a lot of creativity around you Taurus so I think for a lot of you you're doing something that you feel a lot of devotion towards yeah I get for some of you if this is not a love situation I feel that it's deep love for your for some kind of creative outlet it feels like an artist some kind of artistic person here that I've picked up uh, Taurus uh, if this is not you uh, then just disregard that but I feel for somebody that I'm reaching out to this is someone who is reinventing themselves yeah I get that as reinvention you know you may have felt for a long time that you had to be a certain way Taurus but I feel that you're reinventing yourself you're starting to take off the shackles you're starting off in, in a new direction in life it feels brand new guys I, I think for some of you you're even uh, either, either traveling or thinking of traveling it's hard to travel at the moment so it may just be thinking about traveling or you may be uh, starting the preparation stages with this two of wands planning for a move looks like you've got the world opening up to you here Taurus it seems to me like um, you're listening to your, your gut there you're receiving a lot of uh, spiritual downloads a lot of messages from uh, the universe and it feels like you're making a, an instinctual again I get progress it feels like a progression for you from one state of being to another and this feels a lot more uh, relaxed I'm getting a relaxed vibe it also feels like this is attached to something that's going to promote you or, or give you some kind of uh, validation or uh, for some of you like fame accolade reward yeah big dreams I'm, I'm getting this is it's very dreamy I'm not getting any cards of actual movement here that's why I feel like this is a it feels a little bit like a dream sequence at the moment even this devotion energy yeah it feels like I'm speaking to a Taurus here who is dreaming of the the, the perfect life the, the life that they want to lead and because of their, their circumstances I feel there is this energy of re restriction but the good news that I'm seeing here with this seven of Pentacles is that you haven't given up hope so even though this feels like uh, imagination at the present time your thoughts ideas dreams I do feel that for you you're gonna keep you're gonna keep trying for this 
in whatever way that is because I feel it's it's going to be something that you it's something that you've wanted for a long time uh, it's something that you've been thinking about for a long time I do feel that you're you're starting to make plans again I get plans now in order to do this I do feel with this ten of swords it, it does bring about an ending of some kind in your life but it feels like the ending has already happened it doesn't feel like it's to come it feels like it that has you done with that you're done with the situation uh, you've already walked away from that and now you're dreaming about this next phase in your life but there's still this kind of restriction around you yeah but I feel that intuitively speaking uh, you seem to know the right path for you absolutely and, it, and it's very creative again I get an artistic kind of energy whatever way that is it feels like um, a romantic ideal yeah definitely a romantic ideal here now I'm going to get some clarifiers I'm going to start with the card of devotion so let's see let's clarify devotion and there's somebody here that uh, that is around you. you you've got your eye on them oh, that one's jumped on the floor excuse me guys sorry you get that one the page of wands okay could be a, uh, a fire sign of significance here somebody who you've had your eye on and it's interesting that I said that because um, you'll see this person here has this giant magnifying well this magnifying glass that's magnifying just one of their eyes so yeah it feels like somebody that you've got your eye on here Taurus and uh, you've been listening to them now it could even be someone who's in the public eye or has some kind of presence in communication where you actually listen to them could even be like somebody on here on YouTube for instance yeah and this feels like it's somebody at a somebody who is living the life of a, a very adventurous kind of spirit you'll notice there's a toucan here and this person is dressed like an old-time um, explorer like somebody who visited the jungles back in the, like the 30s or the 20s or the 30s dressed like this it feels like that like Livingston uh, uh, yeah it, it's definitely an energy of adventure so adventure spirit Taurus I feel like this is someone that you've watched you're watching and you're listening to from afar let's get some clarifiers on that listen card let's clarify listen yeah uh, I think this is someone that you've been listening to for a while I get and the thoughts are just starting to sprout this person that maybe has planted some uh, seeds some ideas the hermit yeah yeah uh, you felt like the hermit I feel like you you work a uh, solitary uh, a lot of you like to work do work that is solitary in nature uh, especially if you're a a creator you like to work alone you don't mind that actually yeah and I think that when you're doing this you also may listen to like uh, podcasts or uh, something like that you do it solitary I, I, that's what I'm feeling and I'm getting this kind of energy as well that it feels like uh, you're taking a solo trip some of you are going on a solo trip for some of you it's by boat or you're planning on going by boat or ship when that opens back up again for some of you it may be like commercial it may not be um, uh, it may not be like a cruise ship it may be like a cargo ship it feels like uh, you're going on some kind of wild adventure here Taurus and you're just going to kind of uh, you may even be writing about it or it's going to give you some kind of inspiration 
it, it feels like something that you've been wanting to do for a while again that won't be for everyone but that's that's what I'm getting there let's get a card on the seven of Pentacles as the overall energy yeah you're starting to think that there's a better way a different way and you're really at a crossroads in your life here Taurus where you're starting to think you know maybe I need to change track here and it seems to be a natural choice for you because something's come to an end just recently okay let's take a look we have the Empress and the Emperor oh wow wow so devotion I mean my goodness this seems to be your uh, divine counterpart male or female whoever this is that that uh, that you've been listening to uh, this is your person for sure I mean for the Emperor and the Empress to come out there cards of devotion yeah, goodness yes th this is absolutely this feels like um, someone who is matches you so this person is also creative I also get this person has some kind of uh, success or reward or ambition around them so I do feel that the, the two of you here together can reach some kind of acclaim hmm yeah it feels like a claim it feels like uh, the two of you being able to reach a, a certain level of success in whatever you work on for some of you it's working together but I also get working alone as well so you your separate projects will be successful but I also feel like some you're going to have some kind of collaboration and that collaborative effort is also going to be very successful it's going to pay off for you big time yeah wow Taurus this feels amazing let's get a card from uh, let's get a card from the, this deck here what deck is this this is the wisdom of the golden path oracle okay let's get a message here for Taurus the only bad thing I see here is, is that you're not able to actually physically do the traveling just yet but you can use this time to plan guys the uh, dreams plan uh, you know start the process get some rest as well because once the world opens up again it seems like uh, you're gonna go for this spontaneous and intuitive creation well there you go yeah it seems like you're going to get inspired after uh, after listening to something something's going to really uh, prompt you to take uh, well I feel like it's 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 your intuition you know the seven we've got the seven of cups we've got the two of wands the four of swords uh, a time of rest a time of uh, introspection with this hermit card you're listening to your intuition and something is coming to the fore here and you want to I definitely feel you want to take action on it but you I don't feel that you can with this eight of swords and the devil let me get a let me clarify what is holding Taurus back here this eight of swords and the devil what is uh, holding Taurus back from taking this spontaneous action spirit guides what is holding Taurus back from taking this spontaneous action please spirit guides what is holding Taurus back okay let's see got the knight of pentacles in the reverse inertia for some of you there's a feeling here of being happy to dream about it perhaps you have been happy to just dream about this have it to uh, have it be more of a fantasy but I feel like something's gonna happen here in March that is going to erupt and 
it's going to fire you up to take a spontaneous move. So where there was inactivity, inertia, some complacency, being content just to wish, to dream, to wish upon a star, something's going to really fire you up here and you're going to take action. You're going to start, with this page energy, I feel like you're going to start, start the ball rolling, start the communication uh, to go towards this because it, it feels like this uh, the person if you've got an eye on, on a person here I mean my goodness Emperor and Empress energy you can't get better than that I mean this is your soulmate this is your uh, this is your absolutely your person and I feel like the two of you uh, it feels like grand adventure and it feels like the two of you are really going to uh, I get a, a life of adventure, guys. It, uh, my goodness. It's very Unturian like, to be honest with you. But I feel like you've been stagnant for a while, or you've been st stuck, or doing something that felt restrictive, and this is going to feel like a whole new world. Yeah, it's opening up a whole new world for you, Taurus, and uh, I feel like it's going to really. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, there's, there's deep love here. Deep attraction and, and deep love for what you're going to be doing and for a person. Wow. Wow, Taurus. I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. You can also purchase directly on my Etsy shop. The link is down below. Please do like, share and subscribe if you're watching here on YouTube. I'd love to have you if you're a newcomer. And if you're listening on the podcast, please feel free to check out my YouTube channel, Gypsy Insights by Michelle. Wishing you the best with this, Taurus. Uh, please do take care and bye for now.